Like most of Quasar's components, we get a lot of value for free out of even the simplest things like a Q-chip. So let's have a look at some of the things that it can do. Q-chip, and then we'll put a label on that, equal to my chip, save it, and there we go. It works straight away. Now another thing you might want to do is add in here a size. And we're going to do that just to make this a little bit easier to work with and give you a better viewing experience in this video. So you can set the size. You can also give it an icon. So let's say the icon is equal to mail, save it, and there we go. We could even change this label now to emails. Cool. What else can we do? Well, we can throw an icon on the other side. So how about we put a person on that side? Oh, but that's going to say icon dash right. So by default, it will be on the left, but then you can say icon right to be more specific. We can give it a color. So let's say the color is equal to blue, and it works. And then you might want to change the text color. So let's say text color is equal to white. And then maybe we could make this like a darker blue. Let's say nine. Yeah, I think that looks really nice. Another thing we can do is make this dense. So that's probably a weird thing to do if we're using extra large. It's basically going to remove a lot of the padding there. So let's get rid of size and have a look at dense. That's a really dense chip. But then if you got rid of dense, then you're back to the normal size chip. All right, so let's remove dense there and let's bring back in that size equal to extra large. Now you might not like the curved edges here on the chip, so you can get rid of it by saying square. That'll give us more rigid edges. And then we can also say, in terms of styling, outline. And this is just like buttons and a lot of other components where you get this outline if you change it to outline there. Another thing we can do is make it clickable. So if we say clickable, then when we hover over it, we get a clicking pointer for our mouse. And we also get this nice ripple effect when we click on that chip. Another thing we can do is make it selectable. So we could say v-model is equal to selected. But more specifically, we need to model selected so this is view three stuff now very exciting that we can model other things very easily with view three so let's v model selected and i'll come down here and this is something i prepared earlier but i like to actually show you everything so let's bring us back to the original example and i'll come down here and we're going to pull ref out of there and say const selected is equal to a reference equal to false by default and then let's return that save it and now we are modeling that selected property and i can click on here and notice that it models to selected and unselected a bit weird in this example so we might get rid of that mail icon and let's get rid of the icon right as well and there we go that's probably a better example another thing we can do is make it removable so let's say here removable is equal to true and now we get this little cross thing here. Now I'm not going to fully implement removable, but I will show you that we can say at remove is equal to, and then let's just say log there. And I'll come down here and say const log is equal to a function, console.log remove, and then we'll expose that here. I just want to quickly show you that this does actually work. Open up the console, and there we go. You could implement some functionality to then remove this chip. Pretty cool to know. Scrolling back up, there's a couple of more things I still want to show you. We can also truncate the text, and that actually happens by default. So check this out. Let's get rid of a few of these things here, just to bring us to a more basic example. And if I were to change this to emails that you have from your friends, and there we go. What we could do is truncate that by simply saying, the max width is equal to, I don't know, 120 pixels. Save that, and there we go. Notice that it automatically adds those dots there. So maybe 200 is a better example. I think that's pretty cool that we get that functionality by default. However, it's important to know that if you're using slots, so if you try to use the default slot here, let's grab that and paste it directly in here. Notice that it's not gonna truncate properly. So we don't actually get that functionality anymore. And if I get rid of the text white and the color there to bring us back to a more basic example, notice that it does actually bleed over the edge. So we wanna make sure that this is inside of a label when possible.
so that we get that functionality. A couple more things before we wrap up. We can also add in here an avatar, which can be really nice when you're using chips. So Q dash avatar, and then let's set a color on that. So we might say color is equal to indigo. And then let's say the text color is equal to white there. And we'll put in a number of maybe eight. And there we go. I think the max width is missing with this styling here. Let's bring us back to a more basic example. Oh, and this has raised an important point. Whenever you're using the default slot, you probably want to put all of your content in that default slot. So let's grab all of this content here, copy it, yank it out, and we'll just throw it directly after the avatar. So now that styling is going to work properly for our chip. We could also use an image here. So let's come in here and say image, and then we'll say the source for that image is equal to, we don't need the slash there, and https slash slash, pixum.photos slash, and let's say 30 by 30 should be a good enough size. Give it a second to load, and there we go, we get that image. And we might wanna get rid of the colors in this scenario because we're just showing an image. There we go. And notice that, the cool thing about Q Avatar, this is an amazing component. If we just bring our chip back to its original size, notice that the avatar component is going to ensure that our avatar basically scales within the content the way that it should scale. So that's really, really cool, this component. It means that we can change this to any size we like and that avatar is still going to work really well. So extra small, extra large, it all still works. And that's it for the Q-chip component. Hope you enjoyed this one. See you in the next video.